<laughs> All right, you can add another name to the list of those boycotting Israel. Author Sally Rooney now refusing to allow an Israeli company to translate her new book into Hebrew, citing her support for the BDS movement, which tries to isolate America's closest ally in the Middle East. Joining us now is former State Department spokesperson Morgan Ortega. Morgan, I've read. Um, she has three novels out. She's a very young novelist, had a lot of success early on. The first two novels went you know, right on the bestseller list. Mm -hmm. One of them, the second one, it was even made into a show for Hulu. Then this third one comes out, and all of a sudden, you know, she's very, very popular. And now she says in a statement that um, basically that the Hebrew language translation rights to the novel are available, and if I can find a way to sell these rights that is compliant with the BDS movement's institutional boycott guidelines, I will be very pleased to do so. But her point is she wants to express her solidarity with the Palestinian people and their struggle for freedom, justice, and equality. That's what she says. Morgan, what do you think? I have so much to say, Dana. It's hard to know where to start. First of all, our audience should know that the BDS movement is an anti-Semitic and racist movement. Uh, it has been rejected roundly by, uh, by bipartisan members of Congress, both sides of the aisle. And the reason why is because the BDS movement singles out Israel's right to exist. We're talking about the most thriving uh, democracy in the Middle East, right? This is a democracy that has not just Jews uh, in the Knesset. Uh, there are Arabs represented in Israel. You have people, Muslims, Jews, Christians, Druze, uh, and other religions leaving, living peacefully and coexisting in Israel. Mm -hmm. So the support of the BDS movement and the refusal to translate her new book into Hebrew singles out Jewish people. It singles out the Jewish state and anybody who relies on uh, the use of Hebrew, mm -hmm. uh, which is not just Jews. Like I just said, right. Druze, Christians, Muslims, all living in the state of Israel. It it does seem Use very close-minded, actually, like for as liberal as she says she is. Ilhan Omar, the congresswoman from Minnesota, she, she um, liked the tweet. Uh, and we have, a, I think we have just a picture of that. She liked this idea. Megan McArdle had a good point. She's a columnist, and she said that she's curious whether Sally Rooney will allow her novels to be translated into Mandarin, given that the Chinese government yeah. is currently herding a religious minority into literal concentration camps, subjecting women to forced abortion or sterilization, and reportedly rape as well. And a good friend of mine said that the double standard here is what makes it anti-Semitic. Well, Megan is absolutely right, and I actually checked into this, Dana, and her last books were translated into Mandarin, into Russian. Uh, you could probably find one of her books on almost any authoritarian state. Right. But also, the problem that I have, though, let me just say, and sort of uh, pointing out the fact that she is having her books translated into Russian and Mandarin, is it's, it's not even, it's ridiculous to even compare the state of Israel to those authoritarian states. Right. A state, like I said, where the current ruling coalition has air Arabs as, as a part exactly of right. it. And, Morgan, and there's a genocide going come, on in I just, China. You know, I usually never do this. I read a lot of books. I only ever praise books. I'm going to say, I read her third book. It's not even good. So <laughs> you have that as well. Morgan, thanks so much. Thanks, Dana.